Hey everybody, last weekend, hedge fund billionaire Robert Smith pledged $40 million to Morehouse graduates here in Atlanta saying that he would forgive their student loans. That caused an enormous amount of content about what he had done to be splattered all over the pages of every news website in the country, if not the world. Yeah, let's take the world. But what you didn't hear, far more often than not, by a lot, was that, is this. Robert Smith is black. That's right, he's black. It was, you could read that two ways. Either race doesn't matter like it used to, or some news folks couldn't bring themselves to put together the word billionaire in black in the same sentence. Well, I decided I'd do that for this reason. What Robert Smith did is not just extraordinary, it amounts to good news about black men from a number of different perspectives. First of all, it says that black men have achieved, and indeed since 1960, when roughly 40% of black men were in poverty, now, it's just 18% and the number is going down. And if you're a black male in America, you're far more likely to be employed and well-educated than the opposite. That flies in the face of night after night after night after night after night of news reports about black men in trouble. How many times have you seen it, particularly on Fox-owned television stations? The media consistently communicates, the mainstream media, the rich, largely white-owned media, to be blunt, is drunk on the idea that they have to communicate that a black man did something bad. Even they had to stop and communicate that this black man, or I should say, that other black man, Robert Smith, not this black man, did something really phenomenally good, not just for himself, but also for other black men. Because Morehouse is a historically black college. It also says this, not just that Robert Smith is a billionaire, but if you care to look, he is not the only black billionaire out there. There are now quite a few, and there will be more as the years go by, and that's something to celebrate. That is really something to celebrate. But I had to communicate that because many people don't at all understand that, hey, how you doing? Many people don't understand the difference between messages that are communicated through the media and through real life. Real life is a lot more fun. Real life is to be celebrated. So I say this, if you want real life, Look at YouTube, because <laughs> you'll get it. But if you want the fakery, keep looking at the regular television news. There's a lot more to celebrate than you'd realize. And I, for, this, for that, I say this. Yes, for those who would ask, is it better off to be African-American today than it was in the 1960s? You betcha, it certainly is. Subscribe to Zenny62. I'll see you.